go down to 55 just so we can include that last number and so okay so there we have it and then I'm going to total this and and then sum it up over here so if I sum this up by the way I should get alt equal that should be a hundred or one home tab no, numbers percentify and this one over here if I say alt equals we're going to get to the 629 which should be our account right there's the 629 and that's a check or double check that we've kind of got all of our information now instead of multiplying these percentages times 629 so I can compare to the frequency I'm going to take the percent percent of total the percent of the total so that we can convert this into percentages which I can compare to these numbers then on the actual data so actual let's say actual actual percent of total home tab alignment center wrap it black white and then we'll put our cursor here this is going to be equal to this divided by I'm going to put my cursor in the data so I can say control shift down taking me to the bottom picking up the 629 I'm going to say f4 on the keyboard to make it absolute so there we have it so we're going to take each one of these divided by the total enter and let's make that into a percent home tab number percentify add some decimals putting our cursor on the fill handle double clicking it taking it on down so now we've got our our percentages comparisons so this compared to this now this compared to this this is our bell curve this is the actual percent of total data let's look at our differences then we could say that well what's the difference between the actual and our percent data home tab uh no font group black white alignment center and let's say this is going to be equal to the p of x minus the actual percent of total making that a percent home tab number percentify adding some decimals double clicking the fill handle to take it on down so we can see the differences there so it looks like it lines up pretty good pretty good uh, now we could actually plot this information we can plot these two basically on top of each other to see how closely they line up the, the bell curve and the uh, actual percent of total so we'll pick up control shift down and then shift up so I don't pick up the total control backspace so I get back to the top and then insert charts we're gonna put a bar graph and boom so there's our actual data looks very bell-ish bellish shaped and let's say this is for uh 1920 comparison and then i'm going to pick up the actual in data so let's put our cursor here let's go to the chart and let's add the data i need to first pick up my proper x's so these x's aren't right i need to pick them up over here so i'm going to edit and then select this one and go into our X's like we do every time control shift down and shift back so I don't pick up the total enter okay so it looks like it's got the correct X's so I'm gonna say okay got the correct X's because we went to Texas and found all of my X's that's a song sorry that's a song I got distracted all of my X's are in Texas anyway we're gonna I don't know why that song just uh would you would you delete that Stu Phil would you delete that because uh that shouldn't be in there. select that's my editor we're gonna then go into here and and we're gonna say now we'll then take this and say we want to select the data and we want to say that we have add let's add the next data set which is going to be named the actual percent of total and then we'll take our column over here and pick that one up and say percent boom looks good okay and okay so now we've got the two on the same so you can see that that let's add a legend let's add a legend oh I thought it was going to put a picture of me right in there because I'm a legend I thought it was just going to put my portrait on the side whatever anyways uh 
you can see that the that the actual data is pretty close you know so so you can see the, to the to the bell-shaped curve which means that the bell-shaped curve should give us some predictive power over what we're doing here so let's pull that on down now we could of course make an area uh, type of graph as well but let's what I want to do now is do the same kind of thing for for uh, the next year let's put let's put something above this so that we can show that it's 1920 data so I'm going to select all of this information and right click and then insert and uh, shift it down shift it down okay and then this is going to be 1920 and let's make that number format and let's just make it a general and then I'm going to select that and I'm going to I'm going to copy it across. I'm not going to some people might merge. I don't like to merge, so I'd rather right click and then format the cells. So and then go into the uh, alignment and then I want it to be horizontal center across the selection. So that'll put it in the middle without combining so there's still separate cells, but it's like in the middle. And then I can go into the home tab and let's make it a different color like a blue maybe let's make it blue and white so that's the 2020 stuff all right let's now do the stuff for uh for 2022 so i might be able to hide some data first let's make a skinny t it's like mr t got skinny because he stopped working out it's a skinny t and then we're gonna right click and then hide no one knows who mr t is anymore whatever everybody knows mr t man he's on the a team and so this one it's blank because i hid the data all right let's do it again up top and then let's do this for 2022 so now we're on i'll put this up top 2022 formatting that home tab number Let's make it general format. I'll make this one green, let's say. So I'm gonna hit the uh, home font group. Let's make it dark green and then white. Okay, so we have the same starting point. We have X's, we've got the P of